Hello everyone, it is now time to delve into the wiring harness. So I'm actually going to walk you through uh, start to finish um, dismantling the stock wiring harness from its sheath and all the plastic garbage and any unnecessary connectors. And I'm also going to show you how to do, um, do a wrap for a bus which uh, you know can be translated into a van again as well but let's go ahead and start from the computer outward so here we go here's the computer it uses these yellow connectors here the four yellow connectors and uh, it also has a read diagnostics connector you plug this in uh, to get a live reading all right, so let's just do the main harness first. It actually goes through this um, big gray connector, which we're gonna eliminate, and that, that'll require some soldering, some cutting and soldering. Okay, and then if we follow that, it goes out through this big grommet that goes into the uh, left fender of the Legacy. And so we're actually not gonna end up using this um, for the swap. We're gonna cut this, okay? And we follow all the way around to where the fuse box normally is in the legacy in the engine bay. It sits about right here. You can see all those connections have been cut just because we don't need them. Then we have the engine connectors here. Remember, this is a uh, 93. So on 92, 91, even 90, I think they're slightly different been a while since I've done one of those but it's gonna be slightly different maybe three three connectors okay and then uh, if we follow this over this is actually for the um, alternator these two connections and this one here is for the uh, air conditioning compressor so let's go back to the computer okay and let's go to the other side we have the engine connectors here and we have the main ignition relay which is the brown and we have the fuel pump relay which is uh, this round relay with the green connector those are two pretty important things to keep okay it actually um, goes into this giant uh, plastic housing to just kind of keep things neat behind the legacy dash. We're gonna get rid of that and we come a little further here and this is also another diagnostic connector and this is plugged in you actually can read the old codes that are stored in the computer and then we have the select monitor uh, connection I actually like to keep this because there's a great uh, program out there called the B10 scan tool um, that I'm going to link to. Uh, a very entrepreneurial young young guy uh, put, t put that together and it's awesome. So we're going to go ahead and keep those on these conversions. Okay, we continue and we have this another big plastic deal. Then it goes to another big grommet which we're not going to keep. Come over here and we have the O2 sensor connector. We're going to keep that. Then we have the uh, NOx sensor which is this guy right here. That actually goes to the NOx sensor. And then we have the cam and crank sensor connectors. Okay, then we come a little further over. This is actually the connector that goes to the starter. I kept it just because um, you know it's it's a good identifier, and we're gonna end up clipping that and splicing it into um, the bus's harness. Go a little further over here, and I'll pan out. And this guy here is actually just grounds. I kept that on just to make it clear to myself. I'm gonna come over here. We have the igniter. We're gonna keep that. Come to this far edge, 
and we have more grounds and finally the math connector so we're going to keep that as well we're going to play with the uh, the overall lengths of this harness but here it is so After a few days of working on the harness on and off, I um, was able to get it done. Uh, so let's just go through what I did here. So we'll do the same thing starting from the computer and working out. So from the computer here, then we go to, you know, just further downstream and we have the select monitor plug and the diagnostic connectors. Okay, and then we come over here. I have one ignition on power source, so this will go to the ignition on source. And then I've got two grounds that I'm going to find a place to ground those. And then we have the fuel pump relay, the main ignition relay, and the fan relay. And then we come down here and we've got um, like the oil pressure warning light, um, we've got the water temperature, uh, wire, and some other odds and ends. Um, so this is the tachometer, and I also have the AC um, uh, compressor wire. So then we'll come down here, and we have the, um, the right side grommet that I'm going to reuse. So this is from the right side in the Legacy. We'll come down further and we have the fuel pump wire. This is going to attach to the fuel pump. And then I have, coming off the edge here, I have um, a, a ground that will go to the engine and these two thicker red wires actually come from the alternator and those are going to plug into the uh, battery terminal on the starter and then I have this wire which will tell the computer that I am actually turning the starter solenoid so that'll go to the solenoid itself Okay. And then we come further up. We have the um, cam crank sensor as well as knock sensor. And off of that lead will be the mass airflow sensor and the O2 sensor. Okay, we'll come over here. And I put the igniter here. It's going to mount near the firewall, near the fuel filter. Okay, and then we have the engine connectors here. Then I have the alternator light, so for the warning lamp on the dash. And then this is um, actually to the, um, let's see, what is that for? Oh, this is the wire from the fan relay, and it's going to meet up with the fans near these engine plugs here. Okay, and then we come further on, and this is just the alternator um, uh, strand. We have the AC clutch, the battery positive that goes to the alternator, and the signal uh, connections to the alternator. So let's scoot back here, and you can see the whole whole thing. And then uh, here's the, the leftovers. Big old mass of wire. 
The next step is to put the completed wiring harness into the bus and connect it to all the, the bus's harness. So for example, this is just one example, um, this blue wire here is actually the alternator uh, warning lamp. So I'm gonna connect this up to my corresponding wire on the main harness. And then uh, what, what I'm gonna do is actually, if I come down here, let's see if you can see what we have here, but we've got the starter connection and I'm gonna be cleaning up all the stock wiring cause it's kinda old and crusty. But um, I'm actually gonna drill a hole up uh, kind of underneath the rear seat, the rear bench and put my grommet through there so that I can put my battery as well as my uh, computer up under the rear seat. So here we are at the rear seat. I'm gonna scoot down here and show you approximately where uh, the battery as well as the uh, computer is gonna be mounted. Um, let's see, right about there where my finger is pointing uh, just next to the uh, rear heater duct or outlet. Um, I'm going to probably drill my hole and then mount the computer maybe a little further over there. And then put my battery probably closer to this side over here just so there's easier access if I need to jump start somebody or be jump started. So next up I'm going to drill the hole and try and uh, Get that grommet mounted. The wiring harness is now installed in the bus and uh, I'll walk you through that real quick. So if we come into the engine bay, we have the engine connectors here. I'm leaving things loose because once the engine's in place, then I'll know the exact uh, location to put it, you know, mounted on the, the frame rail here. Um, we also have the igniter and the alternator connections, I'm leaving them a little bit long so that they'll reach out to the alternator. And then we have the oxygen sensor and the mass airflow sensor, and that's gonna go all the way to this side. Okay, and uh, let's take a look at the hole that was drilled. Uh, you might not be able to see it very well from this side, but it's kind of up there. Anyway, I'm gonna take you into the uh, the actual cab, and we'll take a look at the um, where where the ECU is gonna sit, uh, as well as the battery. Okay, so here's uh, underneath the rear bench seat. You see the grommet here. This is from the Legacy. Uh, I kept it intact because it's it's perfect for this application. Um, you just drill out a hole that is using a uh, two and one eighths inch hole saw and this grommet fits perfect. Okay, the main harness comes over here and we have our engine, uh, or actually our uh, select monitor connector and our diagnostic connectors. Then we have the engine connectors and the, uh, I'm sorry, the ECU connectors and the ECU as well as the relays. We have the fuel pump, main, and fan relay. And then I just have a little um, a little fuse block here uh, to dispense um, battery positive. And um, so for example, this one here is actually uh, battery positive to this relay, which will power the fans. Okay, and I'm gonna create a lead that goes from this main terminal here to the battery, which if I zoom out, I'm actually gonna go with a side post battery. Um, similar to this one here, right here, see these side posts? Um, it's actually gonna sit right here. I'm getting a new battery, of course, that one's, that one's pretty, pretty wasted. Um, and then I'll create the battery tie downs. But anyway, then we have some grounds that are actually gonna connect directly to the battery. Then um, going to the starter, we have a negative lead here, really thick, and a positive. 
So that's kind of the wiring harness all tied up. So for the next video series, uh, or the next part, um, we're going to complete the chassis preparation. And we're going to um, get the engine all prepped and installed. So stay tuned.